High Notion is. If you're watching this, you've probably seen that Notion has just released a brand new type of property for statuses. I've had early access to it for a few weeks and I've been trying it out, uh, updating my templates as well as using it for various different processes. And it seems like a pretty simple change, but there's actually quite a few details to go through in this video. It's gonna let you use different options to manage specific processes and Notion is going to group those options into neat buckets for you. So when you're managing your various different processes in a task database, for example, then uh, that's going to become a lot easier. And also you're not gonna to have to choose between a status uh, select property or a checkbox property anymore. So to show you how you would uh, use this new status property initially when you're creating a new database, if I just create a tasks database there, and we'll call that uh, status, and select status as our option, the th first thing you're gonna notice here is Notion has automatically added these three options for you, not started, in progress, and done, and group those into these groups, which are basically the new feature. So the way these groups work is, if you want to add another set of statuses for a different process that you need to manage in the same database, we can click Add Status, and if I was a developer, then I might choose Backlog as my option. Uh, if I change the color of done here to green and then add a shipped option, then that shipped option is also gonna pick up the fact that the uh, done option is green and uh, be set to green as well. And then I could add a working uh, option to this group as well if I wanted. The other thing that you'll notice when it comes to setting up the property initially is you can set a option uh, from any of these groups to default. So that will be the option that's uh, selected for you when you add a new item to these databases. And uh, the other thing to bear in mind here is um, whichever option you've got at the top of one of these groups is the option that will be applied when you move a, an item from one uh, group to another in a board view, which is grouped by group. So I'll show you how that works in a little bit more detail in just a second. Lastly, if I add another property here, and it's just a regular select property as my status, um, and we just add an option for not started. Uh, you'll just notice that when I select that option from here, uh, these option, status options are in a nice round pill, whereas these are in a rectangle with rounded corners. So that will help you tell those apart a little bit as well. But we can delete this uh, view, of, uh, we can delete that task database now because I've got one that I've set up already. And here I've just created a board view grouped by status. So if I go to the group options for this view, uh, you can see that we've selected status as our group by option and then the option option for our status by. I'll show you the difference between that option and the group option in just a second, but you might be able to guess how that works already. When you're setting up these uh, views then, which are grouped by the status property, you've now got the option to choose between an ascending order uh, which gives you uh, your, which which means your options will be displayed uh, horizontally here, based on the order that they're in in your status property. Descending order reverses the order of those options. Or lastly, you can still uh, order your options manually um, and just drag and drop them as you had been able to before. I'm going to switch back to ascending order because that's always the order that I list my options in for my status properties. So that is going to save me quite a bit of time as well. So now we can take a look at a board view which is grouped by group. So if we go back into our layout settings for this board and we go to group by and we go to status by, you can see here I've selected the group option here instead of the options option. So rather than having uh, these um, slightly messy additional options hidden away 
at the side of our board view here. Notion's now grouped our options into these nice buckets uh, based on um, the way that we set them up when we were configuring the property just here. So, and if we try moving our task from one group to the next, you can see that that's updated the task status option to working automatically because as I mentioned before, uh, Notion will just select the option which is at the top of your list of uh, each group that you drag and drop your item into. So uh, working is the top option there. Moving on down, we've got a list view here, which uh, you would think um, is just showing you a checkbox uh, option to mark your task as complete. Again, this is the same task database that we were using uh, in these previous two examples. But actually, you've got this new icon here which is a half checked checkbox, I guess, which just indicates that the task is in progress. So if we move that task across to the completed group, then you can see that checkbox has been updated there. Obviously, the really nice thing about this is I haven't even had to choose between um, setting checkbox as my option for this property or uh, sort of select options as my, my option. Uh, I can uh, just choose the status property as my property type and then I get the best of both worlds. I can choose to display some views uh, with that option as um, a select property and others with it uh, just showing as a checkbox. So if we have a look at the settings here, uh, we can just go into our properties and select our status option and when we click on that, we've got the option here to show it as either a checkbox or the select uh, option. Um, and obviously I've chosen a uh, checkbox for this particular view. So that gives us far more flexibility, which is fantastic. The last example I'll just show you here is uh, we've combined those two options. So here we've got a view which should probably be uh, laid out so that we're grouping by status and we've got our options in sorted in ascending order. And then uh, you can see here, um, all right, that's gonna take a second, but you can see here, uh, we've got our three groups there and then our status property showing here as well. So now we can choose to tick those items off if we just want to jump them to complete, or if we wanna drag and drop them into our in progress uh, group right there, uh, we've got the option to do that as well. So what if you've got a select property which you want to convert into a status property? Well, I've done that uh, before um, as part of the process of setting up this demo and also updating my templates. The good news is you can literally uh, just take your select property, um, which I'll just add here actually for you to see and if we add option working in progress and done as our options just randomly like that um so we should probably call that not started then those are our options now and uh, if we select um, a couple of those values for these items Now we can change this into a select property, uh, sorry, a status property. And that's gonna automatically uh, try to sort those different options into uh, these groups for you. So Notion has collected a bunch of different options from the Notion ambassadors and also elsewhere, I'm guessing, um, for uh, status options that people have used in the past. And then they have uh, sort of used those to map uh, common options into these different groups for you. So hopefully that will make the process a little bit more straightforward. And the other piece of good news here is if you have a board view, for example, that's grouped based on a select status property, switching uh, the property type to a status property doesn't break that board view. So that's not gonna cause you any issues at all hopefully swapping over to this new option is gonna be pretty seamless for you. So once again, uh, hopefully you can see now how this feature allows you to use different options to manage your specific processes and have them grouped into neat buckets. 
and that you don't need to choose between a status and a checkbox property anymore, this new feature is going to make managing your statuses a lot easier. If you'd like to use the simple project management uh, template that I've set up with these new status properties, you'll find a link to that on this page and you can copy this page as well. Uh, it's available as a template, a free template, um, so that you can see exactly how all of these different views are set up. Uh, there's a link to that in the description. Keep an eye on this channel for more updates whenever Notion releases new features like this and I will see you soon.